Welcome to Thoroughbred Action from Gulfstream Park. I'm your host, Ron Nicoletti, and I'm joined by Ms. Racing Queen 2014, Lindsay Tool. Lindsay, uh, welcome to Gulfstream Park. You're here every day now. You're like my new partner. Yeah, I know. I'm your partner in crime. I'm trying to take over your job. Uh-oh. Let's get to those track and weather uh, conditions. <laughs> the main track fast, turf course firm, absolutely spectacular day in South Florida at beautiful Gulfstream Park. The first race, six and a half for a long claiming event for three-year-olds and upward. Scratch the one belief system, also scratch the four. Mia's rocket. Racing at Gulfstream. Good start for the favorite, DePrice, who breaks for the lead. Revelationist moves up the challenge. Longer terms, Doug is down toward the inside. Alongside that is Fusa Code, and at the back of the pack, Superiority with no act. They run down the back stretch, chasing the speed of Revelationist, who leads it three parts of a length from the heavy favorite to Price in second. Longer terms, Doug is now third, two lengths better than Fusa Code, who gets a good spot fourth. A length and a half better than uh, the inside superiority fifth, and sixth and last, no act, about seven lengths behind with a half a mile to go. They move into the far turn, Revelationist about to be engaged by DePrice on the outside. And here's the favorite DePrice, up within a neck of the lead now. Longer terms, Doug is now third. Two and a half to Fusa Code, angled off the fence to run on from fourth. Superiority and Noak continue to trail and they run around the far turn. Here on the outside, here comes a move from a longer terms Doug to try to get to DePrice who just took the lead. From the outside, Fusa Code begins to chip away and here's Fusa Code third off a good trip and they run to the top of the stretch, wide open here. DePrice asks for more now on the outside, longer terms Doug doing just as well. These two nip and tuck with three sixteenths to find. They battle it out from Fusa Code and Noak. There's an eighth of a mile to go. DePrice now has to get serious and obliges nicely. It's DePrice and Gabriel Saez who will Prevail as the favorite. They win the first by a length and a half. Longer terms, Doug with a good effort, second in front of Fusa Code, third than Superiority. No act in Revelationist in 116 and three. The favorite, number seven, Deep Price, scores in the Sunday opener for owner Louis Morisi, trained by Diane Morisi, ridden the victory today by Gabrielle Saez. We're on the turf for our second race of the afternoon. It's a one-mile maiden claiming event for maiden three-year-olds and upward. One scratch the inside horse number one. Not welcome. And they're off. It was a level beginning. Toward the inside, driven by desire, was away well. So was the favorite, Gridiron Great, who's up the challenge. Gridiron Great puts ahead in front of Ocean Lane Plaza, who moves to challenge him. These two are quickest. Ardiente now comes away racing in third, and the other four in a log jam at the back. Dylan's actor, Chevron Light, driven by desire, and Fiddler's Chico takes the worst of it out wide. They run around the first turn, chasing the speed of the heavy favorite, Gridiron Great, who's comfortable up top, leads it three parts of a length. From the outside, Ocean Lane Plaza is now in second. Ardiente is third. Fiddler's Chico on the outside, fourth. Driven by Desire is back to fifth, about three and a half lengths behind. And the two trailers are Chevron Light and Dylan's Actor. Opening quarter, 23 and two. Down the back stretch they go, and still the leader, Gridiron Great, doing it comfortably at the half mile pole, a half in front. Ocean Lane Plaza keeps him company second. Fiddler's Chico on the outside of Ardiente for third. Then driven by Desire with Chevron Light, and the first to be put to pressure is Dylan's Actor. They leave the back stretch and move on to the far turn. Gridiron Great starts to get away. He has a length and a half lead now over Ocean Lane Plaza and Ardiente. On the outside, Fiddler's Chico, driven by Desire, is asked to go. They all better go and go now if they want to beat the big favorite, Gridiron Great pouring on the speed. It's Gridiron Great who wheels off the top of the turn on a widening six-length lead. The rail open for Driven by Desire if he can punch through for a minor award, but nobody's catching the leader. It's Gridiron Great inside the final furlong. He has this race lock, stock, and barrel. Gridiron Great pouring on the speed late. Jose Osorio and Gridiron Great in an absolute laugher. They won easily by about seven lengths. Fiddler's Chico second, third, Driven by Desire in front of Chevron Light fourth. It's the Favorite number three, Gridiron Great, scoring for Rontos Racing Stable Corporation, trained by many Aspura and ridden to victory today by apprentice Jose Orsalio Jr. We'll take a break and be back for the third race in just a few moments. You too can win a life-changing bet with Express Bet's $50,000 Big Bet Sweepstakes. California Pro! This time, Express Bet is giving one lucky winner a $50,000 Big Bet on the Preakness. 
Plus, 52nd place winners will receive $100 to bet the races. Visit ExpressBet.com to learn more and to open an online wagering account today. ExpressBet, your way to play. Spot on the outside in Constitution. Cairo Prince is fifth right now, and he's four lengths off the lead. Then Matador, who's down at the rail with four and a half to make up. Constitution has won! Welcome back for the third race. Two-year-olds will be duking it out at four and a half furlongs. These are maidens as scratch number two. Time out of mind. Note the jockey on the five is Kaber Koa. And they're off. Making a mess of the start was Kutuzov and off awkwardly raw talent. Toward the inside, I am Venezuelan is the fastest early and leads by a length to Noreen away in second, of course. Moves up on the outside now to be third. A length better than Ratnik, who's fourth. Rex is compressed on his outside. Then Raw Talent and Kutuzov is the last of all as they run around the far turn. It's I am Venezuelan in front by a half a length. Noreen is second. Of course, on the outside is covered ground third, four lengths off the speed. Back to Ratnik in fourth now. Kutuzov tries to rally from the back and they run around to the top of the stretch. There's less than a quarter of a mile to go. I am Venezuelan. Travels well to the top of the stretch. Leads it off the corner by two lengths. Noreen is second on the outside, of course, is third. Kutuzov trying to run on from the back. They're into the stretch. The leader and the winner is I Am Venezuelan. I Am Venezuelan and Edgar Zayas will win at first asking and win impressively. I'm Venezuelan. In front. Bye, better than seven. Noreen second, of course, third. And Kutuzov managed fourth. Number three, I'm Venezuelan, proves much the best, drew off to win it impressively, owned by Orleana Farm, trained by Bruno Tussor, and ridden to victory today by Edgard Zayas. The fourth race, one mile on the turf, it's a maiden claiming event for Phillies and mares, three-year-olds and up, scratch the two, Transformer, the nine, Seduction, and the number 10, San Jara. And they're off. From the center, Jill's Reflection gets the first call with the gray schoolgirl Mia moving to challenge. And the favorite, Sophia Leonor, is sent from down toward the inside. Sophia Leonor wants the lead, and she has it now. She leads by a length. Joe's Reflection is second from Schoolgirl Mia in third. Kiss Me Again is forced wide on the course while racing fourth. Saving ground down inside is Gigi's Miracle and a two-length margin to the team at the back, Princess Zafira and Royal Spaces. They run around the first turn after the opening quarter in 24 seconds flat. Sophia Leonor off the fence but leading the way three parts of a length. Gigi's Miracle is down inside while second. Joe's Reflection is third. Schoolgirl Mia fourth. Out wide on the outside is Kiss Me Again. It's another two and a half lengths to the team of Royal Spaces and Princess Zafira. The race will be won or lost through the favorite Sophia Leonor. She's a half mile from the money and three parts in front. Kiss Me Again is now a joint second with Gigi's Miracle, followed by Jill's Reflection. Schoolgirl Mia is now back to fifth and three and a half behind. Princess Zafira moves out wide and Royal Spaces is last as they move into the far turn. Sophia Leonor doing it nicely to the far turn run leads it two lengths now from Gigi's Miracle who's out after a second. Jill's Reflection is third. Kiss Me Again is stopped abruptly. Royal Spaces rallies from the back and they're at the top of the stretch. Here's Gigi's Miracle moving up on the outside of Sophia Leonor. These two in lockstep as they turn for home. Royal Spaces and Joe's Reflection are next and they're into the stretch. Gigi's Miracle up on the outside. Now Collar's the leader. Sophia Leonor is back to second. Joe's Reflection is third and Royal Spaces is fourth. Gigi's Miracle fully extended under Gonzalez but has the lead. It will be Gigi's Miracle to score by a length and a quarter. Sophia Leonor second. Royal Spaces third and Joe's Reflection was fourth in 137 and two. Number three, Gigi's Miracle closes to win it for Rick Degg Farm Incorporated, trained by Antonio Sano, ridden to victory today by Santiago Gonzalez. We'll take a short break and be back for the fifth race in about a um Howard and Bay in front as they hit the last 16th of a mile. 15 to one shot. Howard and Bay got it done. What a horse race here as they come to the last 16th of a mile. Lexi Lou unwavering on the lead. Lexi Lou to win the South Ocean. Howard and Bay will finish second. Sligo Bay. 
Canada's leading sire of two-year-olds and number two on the Canadian general sire list in 2013, standing at Adina Springs. Constitution, what a Florida Derby, and Constitution has won! You too can win a life-changing bet with Express Bet's $50,000 Big Bet Sweepstakes. California Pro! This time, Express Bet is giving one lucky winner a $50,000 Big Bet on the Preakness. Plus, 52nd place winners will receive $100 to bet the races. Visit ExpressBet.com to learn more and to open an online wagering account today. ExpressBet, your way to play. Welcome back. Our fifth race, one mile and one sixteenth on the firm turf course. A claiming event for three-year-olds and upward, which have never won three races in life. One scratch report here, number two, time mark. And they're up. Awkward beginning for Minstrel Road. It was a good beginning for Rocking Hall, who moves for the early lead, with Tinnitus moving up to challenge second. Muta Sadir is now third. Toward the inside, Ledicole comes away in the top flight. A length better than Cat and Fiddle, with as fate for Habit on the outside. And wide and trailing, Minstrel Road, after that bad start, spots himself about six and a half lengths. They race around the opening turn and blazing the trail out here. Tinnitus leads the way now by three and a half lengths. Rocking Hall is taken in hand second. On the outside, Muta Sadir is now third, now into second. Length and a half more to the outside as that fate would have it. Down to the rail, Ledicole, then Minstrel Hall, and at the back, the trailer, Cat and Fiddle. Opening quarter, 23 and 3. Aggressive speed put on by Tinnitus. Has the lead under Ritmo on the top end by about four lengths. Rocking Hall is second. Muta Sadir sandwiched between horses as fate would have it on the outside. The second flight begins to close ranks at the leader now. Two and a half lengths to Minstrel Road with Cat and Fiddle improving inside. And Ledicole is now shuffled to last. They leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn. They're up to a half mile and 46 and 4. And now here's Rocking Hall at 3 to 5, taking the lead for Jover Chamafi, three parts of a length. On the outside and trying to move with them second as fate would have it. Back to third, Tinnitus. Minstrel Road and Cat and Fiddle trying to make ground. Muta Sadir calls it an afternoon, and Ledicole has not been a factor, and they're at the top of the stretch. They better pick up their feet if they want to beat their favorite. Rocking Hall comes off the corner a length and a half in front. Cat and Fiddle down the outside and in between horses as fate would have it. There's an eighth of a mile to go, and Rocking Hall has the lead. Trying to hold on to second as this fate would have it with Cat and Fiddle on the outside. Ledicole runs into the super. Better's all over it. Here's an easy win for Rocking Hall. Eased up by four and a half as fate would have it fought off Cat and Fiddle for second. And Ledicole finished fourth in 140 and four. The impressive winner of the fifth race was number three, Rocking Hall, owned by Peach Tree Stable, trained by Marty Wilson, ridden the victory today by Jilver Chamafi. We're going to a fast main track for our sixth race. Six and a half furlongs maiden event. Maiden fillies and mares, three-year-olds and upward. First time Lasix on number four, Starship Salsa. And they're off. From the outside, Fantastic Voyage breaks nicely and goes looking for the lead with Proud Girl moving to challenge. Down to the rail and Angel Code, and Angel Code now rushing up to take the lead. Angel Code is quickest. Feels so right is on the outside of Pekinisa for second, with Proud Girl racing in fourth. To the inside, second base is improving. A length and a half better than the team of Starship Salsa and Stop Time. Then it's a gap of two lengths to Miss Away. Another two lengths to Bullheaded Lady, and at the back, the trailer Fantastic Voyage. Opening quarter in 22 and 3. They move around the far turn with with Angel Code with inside position and the lead. Pekani says they're second, perched off the leaders while third is feels so right. Second base to her inside. They're third and fourth and starting to hone in on the top pair. Three and a half lengths better than stop time and miss away tries to rally from the back. There's five sixteens to go. Angel Code still in front. Pekanisa with a fresh and full challenge. Uh, now that's all for feels so right. Feels so right is not feeling right today. Is backpedaling through the field. So second base tips three wide and is coming on. They're at the top of the stretch. Three horses across the track. Second base on the outside now going the better of the two on the inside and trying to kick with the leader is Pekinisa. Angel Coat is out the rail Fantastic Voyage and Miss Away have come from far back. Second base has the lead. Fantastic Voyage, Miss Away trying to get to Pekinisa for second but second base is home first second base wins by almost four close for second Pekinisa or Fantastic Voyage and Miss Away finish fourth in 117 and four Number two, second base doubles the victories for trainer Marty Wilson and Jill Tumafi, owned by Miller Racing LLC. Pretty nice performance. We'll be back for the late Daily Double in just a few moments.
love of horses and a commitment to excellence have come together in the heart of Florida's Marion County. Owned by lifelong horseman Benjamin Leon Jr., Bessie Lou Stables has assembled top-notch thoroughbreds, breeding and racing the champions of today and tomorrow. Breeders' Cup winner Royal Delta has thrilled the racing world with back-to-back -back wins in the Ladies' Classic. As a multi-year sponsor of the Fountain of Youth and the Florida Derby, Bessie Lou Stables is a proud sponsor of Gulfstream Park. Welcome back for the seventh and feature race. One mile and one eighth on the turf. It's an allowance optional claimer for fillies and mares, three year olds and up eight runners in the field. No scratches or jockey changes to report. And Vera. Toward the inside, Flower Mart commences nicely. So too does Creative License. And moving in the center, Ubiquitous Mantle. Ubiquitous Mantle puts ahead in front. Sheer drama between horses and Creative License down toward the inside. They're a length better than Naughty Holiday. Followed a length behind by Glamour and Glory with Flower Mart to her inside. Second last, Super Fantasy. And Be Happy Alex is last as they run around the opening turn. Now moving up on the far outside, Naughty Holiday keyed up and wants to do more. Naughty Holiday up to challenge Ubiquitous Mantle for the lead. Sheer Drama is now racing in third, and Creative License backs off to be fourth. It's a length more to Glamour and Glory in fifth. Moving out wide, Be Happy Alex with Super Fantasy, and Flower Mart and Zimmerman held up last. A little bit tight there after a 23 and 3 opening quarter. They race down the backstretch and try to back down the speed. Zimmerman tried to get through there with Flower Mart, and that didn't work out for him. He checked off heels. He's now four lengths behind last as they run down the backstretch. Ubiquitous Mantle is the leader. Ubiquitous Mantle by a half a length. Naughty Mile Holiday is second. Toward the inside, Creative License is third. Sheer Drama still right there. Covering ground out wide is Super Fantasy. Glamour and Glory looks for room between horses. Flower Mart's had a rough trip. Going to try to get back into this. And trailing now, Be Happy Alex. They move around the far turn. Now the pace quickens. Ubiquitous Mantle has the lead, but not for long. Moving up on the outside and up to offer a stern challenge is Naughty Holiday. Working off the fence is Stablemate Glamour and Glory, and they run to the top of the stretch. Naughty Holiday has the lead. Glamour and Glory gets off the fence. Sheer Drama and Creative License and Flower Mart is back into the race, but just had to alter course again as they're inside the final furlong. With the lead now, the leader is Glamour and Glory and moves away by three. Naughty Holiday is trying to hold on to second. Sheer Drama and Ubiquitous Mantle. David Fox will be one two in the Sunday feature. Glamour and Glory by two and a half. Naughty Holiday second. Sheer Drama was third in front of Ubiquitous Mantle and Flower Mart in 148 and two. Number two, Glamour and Glory wins for Maximum Alliance LLC et al. Trained by David Fox, ridden to victory today by one Leva. The eighth race, one mile on the turf. It's a maiden event. Phillies and Mayors are three year olds and up with a jockey change in number eight. Make the ride of Michael Ritvo. And runners away. The Orsay commences nicely. There goes Frary Pilgrim up to challenge and take the lead with Southern and Sassy moving to challenge. And in between horses and keyed up is Language of Love. Language of Love leads the way. Frary Pilgrim is on the inside. Like you as a friend is covering ground with Southern and Sassy to her inside. Then it's a length to the Orsay, followed by Russian Knight alongside Devious Matty. Length back toward the inside to Val Ridge. And it's far back to Corinthian Luck. They race into the backstretch now, chasing the speed of Language of Love, and Santiago Gonzalez throttles open to lead the race by two and a half. Ferry Pogram is there second. Then it's a gap of two lengths back to Southern and Sassy outside of Diorce for third. Another length to the team of Devious Matty, Russian Knight, and Like You as a Friend, Vale Ridge next, and Corinthian Luck is still the trailer. 
Down the back stretch they continue in language of luck. Love has the lead through a 47 and one half mile, cut out the opening quarter in 23 flat, and Ferrari Pilgrim is second. Diorce rides the rails in a good spot third. In between horses is Devious Matty, wide on the outside, Southern and Sassy with Russian Knight. Like you as a friend calls it an afternoon, Corinthian Luck rallies from the back. Now the pace quickens and they run to the top of the stretch. Up on the outside, Ferrari Pilgrim up for a short lead. Diorce all dressed up with no place to go, working off the fence now is Diorce. Also right there and coming on Devious Matty, they turn home. Corinthian Luck finds room down toward the fence, and here comes Corinthian Luck. Diorce finally gets through. Devious Matty and Russian Knight on the outside. Five chances here. Diorce driving to a short lead. Devious Matty and down the outside. Russian Knight trying to spring the upset. Diorce's almost home. He is home. Diorce wins. Russian Knight with a good try in second. Devious Matty was third. Corinthian Luck finished fourth. It's close for fifth between Vale Ridge and Prairie Pilgrim in 136 and one. Number two, Dorsey holds on to win the final race on Sunday, owned by Darley Stable, trained by Tom Albatroni, ridden a victory today by Paco Lopez. Pick four, 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 88, 70. Pick five, five, oh, five, four, oh, six, 25, four, five, eight dollars, 10 cents. Pick six, 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 $1,495 and 98 cents. Big carryover going into Friday's live action, $5,891,000. $444.37. And here are today's claims. And that wraps up Sunday's action. Remember, during the summer, we race Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays. Come and join us and come and see a Lindsay. She's going to be taking over my job real soon. Right, Lindsay? I wouldn't do that, but I'd join you. Good night. Good luck.